So here's my solution for running uh, the Foxia Wildfire or SpeedyB or URAV RX 5808 EVO modules with the Goggles X. Um, it's using an AV to HDMI converter module, uh, which I've converted into a analog module bay for the goggles. It's got Velcro on the bottom and I've got a Velcro strip on the top. So the way it works is I sit this, uh, sit this on the top here like this. Uh, unfortunately, the HDMI cable needs to do a, a 180 degree twist to uh, make it into the hole here. But uh, once that's in there, then the power plug here, and there we have it. It's uh, a bit bulky, but uh, not not really all that many wires hanging out everywhere. Um, and if I you know, plug power into this, again, power to the goggles, power to the receiver, and everything works. So this is how you can make your own. Uh, I used a, a prying tool uh, to open up the HDMI adapter. Uh, there's a seam on the top here that you can wedge it into and it should start to pop apart. Um, once you've got it apart, you need to check the PCB um, because the PCB that you want here is the one that has the cutout. Uh, there is two versions of this module, so if you got the wrong one, uh, if you bought from Amazon, I suggest you return it because you want the one with the cutout. We're going to start by cutting a PCB uh, to fit into that gap and solder on the pin socket header. I've got a 10 pin socket header, you might have a 9 socket header. Trim the, uh, uh, the wires a bit if you can. And here we've got the pin out that we're going to use. Uh, pins 1, 3, and 6, which is 5 volt, ground, and video, respectively. Thanks, Oscar Liang, for the, uh, for the pin out. Uh, and we're going to twist our wires together to prevent additional noise. And solder power to 1, ground to 3, and video to 6. I've also got uh, some jumper wires uh, just bridging across those power and ground lines so that they're all connected to power and ground. Now my uh, ex barrel extension was a bit short so I cut closer to one end and I've had to uh, extend it by about five centimeters with silicon wire. Uh, but yeah just cut it, strip it and we're going to connect this up to the uh, five volt regulator, the BEC. Uh, I'm using a Maytek one that's uh, not available anymore, so I've got a link to another one which looks like it'll do the same thing. Uh, of course, I used heat shrink on these wires after uh, taking the photos, as well as heat shrink over the whole lot, uh, over the power supply, uh, as you can see in this picture. And the power supply is in the heat shrink. And I'm going to put power to the module via these pins on the PCB. Uh, you can see here. They're fairly big, it's fairly easy to solder and wires onto those. And then on the back we've got the video and ground. Now I've got the double sided tape on the back of the PCB like this. I'm not going to put it in, uh, lock it in place just yet um, because the next step is to cut a hole in the top of the module. The dimensions are given here, uh, three mil uh, edges on the side and 25 mil from the RCA jack side. Now you want the analog bay to sit centered into that hole. So the PCB should be mounted or uh, stuck in place so that the analog bay sits centered. That's why you're not going to lock it into place until you've got this hole in place and you've got your module sitting in there. Uh, and then once you've got the module sitting in there, I've got some 3D prints that I've made available for, for these uh, modules. 
and that should fit into that hole that you just created and lock into place fairly satisfyingly. And there you have it, a completed AV analog adapter. Here's the completed module plugged in. Um, goes through HDMI. Um, you'll notice, yep, we've got blue screen for no signal. So it's not just uh, CADEX, it's a universal problem when trying to convert from HDMI, but unfortunately this is what we have uh, if we want to use the SpeedyB or the Wildfire modules for now. Um, I'll be using my uh, Mobula 6. It's got a floppy lid on the back. Yeah. Now, it's not overly bright. Looks good. Cables everywhere. Let's fly. Bit windy outside. Oops. Looks great in the goggles, 16 by 9 screen. For most flying, in, the blue screens are going to be a problem. The same with the uh, fake snow that Caddx has. But uh, when you do see the blue screen come in, it's pretty shocking. It makes you sort of appreciate the uh, fake snow that we get with Caddx. Um, but of course, we prefer just not to have any uh, screen, fake screen. All right. Telemetry lost. Telemetry lost. See ya.